Oh, church. Psalm 103. Let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things that he does for me. Well, <laughs> you know, if you're part of any of my Bible studies that are online and, and stuff that our very first things that we do in those groups is we have one personal praise, one personal prayer. Now, the reason why we want to do one personal praise is the fact that, you know, sometimes we can focus on our needs constantly and what we ask God to do and what we need God to do for us. And, and we can kind of get stuck in that rut. But when you stop and the very first thing you are to do is a personal praise, we look at this psalm and uh, in my heart, in every way, we want to praise God and, and just never forget the things that he does for me, the things that he has done, the things that he is doing. And we already know the things he's going to do. He is amazing and he does so much. And so today, rather than just hurry up and give him your list of things for him to do for you, let's say take some time to thank him for what he's done for us, what he's doing for us, even today. The fact that he's allowed us to see another day. You see the beautiful sunrise behind me. Just like take it in. He's incredible. And we want to praise him for all. I want to thank him for allowing me for another day. I want to praise him for allowing me to serve as a pastor to his church. To be a servant to his people. To love and worship him. And to be able to be a body that praise and worship him together. It's just the most amazing thing. I want to encourage you today. Never forget all that God has already done, what he's in the midst of doing, and that he has yet to do more. What an incredible God we serve. Let's be his church and praise and thank him today. God bless you.